Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the last session we completed the third character. And, uh, sorry, <laughs> I say completed the third character. We completed the third character's intro, which is uh, a very different prospect. And now we are jumping into character number four, Natsuno Minami, who we haven't seen much of so far, so let's see what her deal is. Yep. Break time, 1985. Anyone chatting or anything? Nope, okie doke. Minami -san. Hey. Not -chan. How's it hanging? What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh, yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. <laughs> Just stuff and like things. Like dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh, yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know? I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. Cheers. Let's have a listen. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. Cool. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic. I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. <laughs> it's just I don't illegal. I really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. EXT. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. Is that just a stand-in for E.T., I guess? Extraterrestrial? I don't know when that came out, but maybe around then? Who knows? Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. Wait, what? Didn't she have a... Oh, there we go. Oh, I have to be looking at her. Oh, okay. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? <laughs> no, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. And you're gonna have to get better grades in science then. Oh, got him. Oh, man. You're right. <laughs> the War of the Worlds. A classic sci fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyasaka-san, hmm. we have to go to the audio-visual room. <laughs> oh, that's so right. stoked. Everyone's already there. Gonna pop I in my headphones, my turn off all the lights. Yes, hello. Yuki-chan. Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. This is another new person, right? Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? 
<laughs> okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? <laughs> of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? Dr. Space! Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, hey, it's the person oh, that wanted God, to fight. That. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Lol, uh, she beat those guys up as well. I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Intervene. Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Yuki-chan. <laughs> Don't worry. Mad stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. This girl is way more, like, chipper than any of the other characters so far. She seems just very happy in general, which is nice. What's her name again? Nat Natsuno? Uh, hang on, let me have a look. Uh, where would it be? Who am I at the moment? Is it Natsuno? Yeah, Natsuno Minami. That's the one. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Wait, which class is mine? Is this class mine? Nope, that one's not. This one? Nope, this one. Head back. After school at the athletics building. Fast as ever, not to know. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh. Well, it was kind of windy today. Running against it and all, you know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year. Hey. Is this? That's good. The puddle actually has a reflection on it. I'm actually surprised by that. That's good. Hello, track team captain. What's up, senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Sure. Okay. I'd be thrilled huh? to. Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? You got ditched, girl. Feels bad. Who's that? Mm -hmm. Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard, too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. Man in black suit has been added to the thought cloud. Could they really be men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe there's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. <laughs> Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Dr. Space. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Shh. 
Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. One from 40 years ago. Or actually, it was this school from 40 years ago, right? Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Clean up. Any Anything else we can do? Oh, I can't run off that side of the screen anymore. Clean up. I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. Do you really need to stretch before cleaning? <laughs> We're not doing track and field here. I know that's the club, but still. Oh, hello, track and field room. <laughs> Finally done. That's funny. Anything I can interact with? My locker? Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Uh, I am pretty sweaty. Uh, what was that? Uh, <laughs> someone hiding in there? Something's in there. What uh, the? Wait. What if? What's going on? What? There a pervert in here? Hello? <laughs> Still totally dressed. Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits. Been seeing them everywhere. So, uh, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron! Lamau. Get out of here already! Damn, try to do something nice around here. I mean, not gonna lie. Well, I mean, he did hear us scream, so... I was going to say you should just knock, but then... I don't know, that is kind of... <laughs> you should probably still knock, but then if someone's actually... You should be screaming more if it was something actually bad. Um, hey there. <laughs> this is wild. Unidentified object. B.J. <laughs> No You're way. offering? It talks. Huh? <laughs> it goes back in when I turn around. Oh wait, no. Oh man. This is just like the movies. An alien. Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. It worked. Okay, stay calm. What a little cutie. Hello. Yes, it all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus. It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means I must protect him. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. B J B J eleven. B J 
Jay. Is that your name? That would be unfortunate if that My is your name. name. Is Natsuno. <laughs> In a Lassiter code at last. Huh? Natsuno. Yeah. That's me. Oh no, his name's actually BJ. BJ has been added to my thought class. His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. What? How the fuck do you know that? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Not to know. Me. Memory That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Wow, this technology is crazy. That thing on the map that the square's around, that is what the people were stood in front of in 1940, uh, whatever it was, 1940, I can't remember. <laughs> Some, sometime in the 1940s, I'm pretty sure they were stood in front of that structure, right? You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. BJ's oh, destination oh, wait. has been added. You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. You got a bag? My pee bag. Yeah, this will do the trick. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm. All right, Mary Poppins. Maybe he can fit in here too. Sorry about the tight fit. <laughs> it really doesn't look like he could fit there. Oh, keep your head down. That's adorable. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? <laughs> that looks really cute. Man, the, the the animations and just the art and everything in this game is so good. Like, look at the light coming in through the window there. In this fucking cool ass. Like, hand-drawn looking... I don't know if it's actually... I don't know how this game was made. Not a clue. But it looks very hand-drawn. And, like... Ah, uh, oh, just... It's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. On to the spot on the map. The Tokisaka Shrine. <sighs> okay. It doesn't seem like we were followed. You know what I super rate about this game as well? Is that it's entirely voice acted. Like, I can totally see a world where this game was was put out, but it was all text and you had to read it, or in my case, speak it yourself. And I am all about the fact that they actually, like, put the money and the time and effort into getting the full thing voice acted and obviously localized because this is a Japanese game originally came out in Japan uh early last year I think or something uh or maybe mid last year I don't know it's been it's been like a year since it came out in Japan and then they've now localized it for other areas and it's like I, I I'm so appreciative of that because that really does make a huge different a huge difference for the enjoyment levels overall this is it Toki Saka Shrine This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place too, now that I think about it. Pretty good spot I mean, for time travel. Who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity? <laughs> She's getting so into it. Anything to click? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. 
All right. We're here, BJ. We're going time traveling. So bright. Are these holograms? Access code approved. I've never seen anything like this. Except in the freaking movies. Designating sector. Wow. This is awesome, DJ. Oh man, you're really good at Well, <laughs> off you go, Natsuno. Uh-oh. That is not good. PJ, wait up! Don't leave me behind. That is very not good. This is what the world will become if we fail in our mission to stop the kaiju, I guess. Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. Ah, there's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Oh, it's the whole world. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but... We have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven... No, there's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? 2064, that's where we are. They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. So nearly 80 years in the future? 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. Interesting, I thought it was going to be... This can't be real. Can I it? thought it was going to be this is what it will look like in hey, like a year's time if we don't win that battle that we're doing in the tutorial and beyond. But I guess, uh, I guess it's not that imminent. Oh God, they're still here. What? What are those? A monstrous tripod, higher than many houses, striding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in its career. A walking engine of glittering metal, striding now across the heather. The War of the Worlds. I think I know what they are. His name is BJ. I mean, do that. <laughs> Oh, this one's green. Does that mean there's new information about it? Those things do have one extra leg, but they're just like the tripods. Ah, okay. So if they if they're green, you can re-listen to something new. And now they're destroying my home. Is 
this really happening? Afraid so. Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Why did we come here? Search memory cell. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. Sentinel number 17 added to the thought cloud. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't get to check sen Sentinel number 17. Interesting. I guess we can look at that next time. Mystery files obtained 10, updated 1. Event archives obtained 5. Episode 4, wave 4 of the tutorial. This is one long ass tutorial. And once we get through it... What am I doing here, Raccoon? Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering ramps for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay. Got it. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming! What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Miracoon, I'm... I'm kinda shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Miracoon! They're coming at us in one straight line! <sighs> I'm in the perfect position. What I was about to say is that when we finish the tutorial, I think that's when it opens up, because I know at some point it becomes like you can choose whoever you want to progress first, and it's like free choice rather than going through a linear set of stories. So I guess that'll be at the end of the tutorial, which will be very interesting. Have to pick our favorite and see how far we can get with him. You can't you can't do a full story because some some parts of some stories are locked behind completion of other parts of other stories. So, you know, but I'm, I'm really liking Natsuna. I think Natsuna is my favorite so far. So we might jump back in with her when we get the opportunity. Anyway, pierce through packs of kaiju straight ahead with the main battery heavy railgun. It would be my pleasure. I won't back down. Fires a large round directly forward at high speed through electromagnetic induction. Doesn't cost. Oh no, it costs 150 EP. Oh, it's very thin, but uh, yep, that'll certainly get the job done. Now, did I get it? Enemy down. That was awesome. You caught them all in one shot. That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, Roger that. Victory condition, destroy all kaiju. Lost condition, terminal destroyed. Gotcha. Let's go, Natsuno. Okay. So we've got the railgun. I'm thinking, could we get both of these big pricks in one go? 
Not, no, 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 not quite. We can get this full line actually though, so let's do that. Nice, nice. Why, thank you. Couldn't have done it without you, Miracun. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. What? There's more? How many of these guys are there? A significant amount. Oh, yeah. <sighs> this isn't good. Looks like they're deploying wide-range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinels' data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. There we go. A surface wrecker. Colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15. Are they friendly? We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. Hello. It is you, Nachan. We're here to help. No way. You too, Yuri. What's going on? Thank you, Jirokun. I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together. Tutorial support units. The second generation model Fuyusaka pilots comes with support units, which are armaments that can be positioned. Once positioned, each support unit automatically takes action until the enemies are destroyed. Select Fuyusaka with the D-pad, then enter the action menu and choose sentry gun. Where, what can I do? Stay calm. Action, sentry gun, 250 EP. Places a small railgun at the target area, auto fires on kaiju. I guess here then. Lend us a hand. Stay calm. Remember your training. Okay, what have we got? Take out these three big boys. Take out these more than three big boys. Now nah, let's get rid of these guys because these guys are the closest. So that would make sense to me. Okay, uh, the rocket launchers can't go, they are too far away, okay. Machine cannons, also too far away, okay, well in that case, let's just move. Where should we move to? Like here? We can move a hell of a long way, holy shit. What? <laughs> oh, I... Man, that is, that is far. <laughs> Retrace our steps. Okay. Uh, we just want to be more in range of these guys. Let's go, let's go here. Number 13. Tutorial. Intercepting missiles. Certain enemies like Twin Tails attack from a distance using missiles. Missiles can be evaded by moving or intercepted with attacks. Deal with them in a way that best suits the situation. To do. Okay. Uh, heavy railgun. Hit all of these guys, I guess. Okay, okay. 
Your heavy railgun. Let's do you like that. Target confirmed. A hit. Enemy down. Can't mess this up. Oh, he's still moving. What now? I have to, uh, gotta think. Is he? Can't mess this up. I guess not. Uh, can I do the rocket launchers now? I'll get a bunch of you guys. There we go. Oh, I've just noticed this thing moving. Oh, shit. This this rocket. Where's it actually... I'm not sure where it's actually aiming for, you know? I can hit that. Okay, good, good. Is that the only thing left now? Seems like it. Eat this. Megumi Yakishiji's story is now available. Alright. Well, Megumi Yakushiji, what have you got? 